Today I'm speaking to my friend Meta Sebia Zeleki, one of my best connections in Ethiopia. Now, Meti, there's a lot of attention on capital markets in Africa and a lot of talk on an Ethiopian stock exchange. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit of the background on this idea. Uh, thank you, Fabio. Uh, you know, the background of the stock exchange in Ethiopia is, uh, you know, it goes back to 1960s after the promulgation of uh, the Ethiopian Commercial Code. And, uh, you know, start, it was the primary stock exchange market, but uh, we have never uh, had the secondary stock exchange market. So the government's bold statement in this regard uh, comes a year back uh, after the office of the prime minister issued a statement that uh, will have stock exchange market in 2020. So here we are now. Right, I see. Uh, well, we all know that there's a lot of appetite uh, for Ethiopia abroad. And I think that our stock exchange in Addis could very well be the gateway that we were missing to bring more capital into the country. Uh, how do you see the process of development for this project to become a reality? Well, uh, concerning the process, uh, there are different uh, opinions, but in my opinion, there are four pillars. And the, these are the institutional framework, legal framework, uh, infrastructure and information. These are the four pillars. Right. When, uh, you know, the talking about an institutional framework, then uh, there are different layers. And the first layer at the top is the regulatory body, uh, like uh, what we have in the United States, the US uh, Securities and uh, Exchange Commission. We need to have this kind of commission. Uh, in order to protect the investment and also to regulate the, the, the practice. Second layer of institutional framework is the exchange itself. The exchange itself must be institutionalized uh, and with having different shareholders. And of course, the government can be uh, the main shareholder, but must let other foreign uh, investments to come as a shareholder in this regard. And the third layers are uh, co you know, collaborative frameworks like to have uh, brokerage uh, underwriters and also law firms. These all and, and other stakeholders must be <coughs> included in this uh, institutional framework. The second pillar is legal framework, and also in order to uh, create the, uh, the the institutions that I mentioned uh, before, we need to have a legal framework. We have to make uh, clear their connections and also about the system. We have to review our laws and also make compatible with the uh, stock exchange. So this is called the legal framework. And, and third one is uh, the, the uh, infrastructure. And of course, the stock exchange needs different infrastructures, but the minimum is uh, the internet and power supply. Right. And the fourth one is uh, information, and uh, information is very important in an effort to incorporate uh, different stakeholders into the system, including foreign investors. And uh, this will help us to have an effective stock exchange in Ethiopia and will definitely attract foreign direct investment into the country. And this is what we are looking for. Right. Well, that sounds very promising. And, uh, you know, on that note, I'm sure that there's a lot of international funds that welcome your last comments. Uh, well, thank you very much, Matty, uh, on your views. And uh, we look forward to see uh, new developments. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Fabio.